Welcome to Connections TV. I'm Terry Main, and today we're going to talk about how to create a Facebook group. Recently, Facebook has changed their mission statement. They're emphasizing the idea of building communities on Facebook, and one of the keys to that is giving us some enhanced capabilities for creating groups. Now, a group is a wonderful thing that you can do. You can create it for your business. You can create it for your church. You can create it for your family. It can be an open group for anyone to join, or it can be very specific to a particular group of individuals. Uh, I have groups for some of my classes that I teach. There are places where people can discuss, share homework assignments, and have just basic general discussions. So we're going to show you how to create a group today. Now, first of all, you just go to your regular Facebook page and your home and go down to the bottom here. Now, you see this section here? It says create. There's a bunch of things. Add page, group, event, and fundraiser. So you just click on group and you're going to give your group a name. Now, I'm going to since we're going to be starting Connections Academy, so I'm going to build a group for Connections Academy. And out, and we'll add some people. Well, let's just add John Fisher. Uh, he should be in our group. And uh, you need to add at least one person. I have uh, one or two people that I will add to every group I create. They know it. I know it. But don't go adding people willy-nilly. It's best to let people join your group as they wish. Uh, a lot of people just add everybody on their list when they're creating a group. That's not a good idea. Now, you can select privacy. It defaults to closed group. That means that anyone can find the group and see who's in it. Um, but only the members can see the posts. You can create a public group. And a public group is where uh, anyone can see the group, its members, and their posts. However, in a public group, they can't post until they join the group. Now, a secret group, way down here, is where only members can find the group and see the posts. Now, with that one, you have to invite the individuals. They can't uh, join unless you invite them. So I'm going to leave this as a closed group. Uh, that's easy enough to do, and it says pin the shortcuts. Yeah, I'll do that because that'll make it easier for me to find them when I want to go th through this. So now I just click the Create button, and in a moment, I get something, get choose an icon. So I'm just going to go through here, and let's see. Uh, well, let me just choose the glasses. That looks good. We'll just go with that. It doesn't need to be anything. I can change it any time I want. Now, my group is created, but I need to customize it a bit. So one thing I can do is upload a photo to my group. So I'm going to, for my banner. So I'm going to upload a photo here. Click on Upload Photo, and I've got a banner right here ready to go. And my banner is not quite centered, so I can just drag it. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm holding down the uh, left mouse key and then moving the banner back and down. And that looks about right. We'll click Save Changes. And there's my banner. Now, over on this side, we have the different areas, uh, discussion members, events, manage group. And so let's go to Manage Group right now. And there are several things that I can do in my Manage Group. I can see if there's schedule posts, and I can schedule a post that I don't need to have immediately. Member requests, if people are requested to become members. Anything that's been reported to me as the admin, or people violating group rules, that sort of thing. Anything that's been reported to Facebook and requesting notifications. Now, with all of these, people, it comes, 
sort of defaulting to notifications where if you start the group you get all posts notified but others can choose to get only the friends posts or only highlights or no notifications at all I'm just going to leave it to all posts because these are my students I want to hear what they have to say when they say it now we go back over here to discussion and we now have a timeline it's just like your news feed on any other page it's the same sort of thing now uh, and you click on it and let me go back up this way here I click in here and I can create a live video I can add a photo I can type in a message uh, so welcome to connections Academy Facebook group uh, hope you enjoy yourself okay and if I want the short one I can add a I can add some sort of background maybe something like that yeah why not that looks pretty good click post and there's my post that I've made now if you look at these three uh, dots that gives me more ways to uh, edit the group and one is I want to go to edit group settings now this will have a number of things the group name is connections Academy I can pick a group type and for this one it's going to be school or class so I choose that I click confirm now that'll make it easier for people to find if they're looking for it I can add a description for the group I'm not going to type in anything now but I will probably put in something along the lines of this group is for my uh, students in my connections Academy classes to discuss assignments something like that I can add tags so let's say uh, technology school uh, students and that those are are those could be some tags I can add uh, and then locations I don't need any locations I can link my page to this group in other words if I add a business I could link that but I don't need to do that and I can create a custom email address uh, web address for this group let's say let's see where it by I lost my page here customize address and we're going to put the connections technology and see if that is coming up okay connections technology was approved so we got one um, now I have other options uh, membership approval any member can approve or add members no uh, uh, any member can add members but an admin or moderator must approve them and for membership requests I can learn more about people that I want to grow in my group I can ask up to three questions and only administrators and moderators will see the answer so for instance I can say uh, what connections Academy courses are you taking talking is not right taking and I can click Save I don't need to have any more that's just the question I might want to know from my members potential members okay now post approval um, all groups but uh, you can set this if you want to moderate everything that's posted I don't want to do that for this one but sometimes you might want to do that so you click Save and that is all you have to do to set up your group and you can go back 
and start having fun with your group. So, until next time, I hope you have a great week. Enjoy yourself, and God bless you really good. Bye.